Learn advanced phrases and vocabulary and practice speaking in English. First is dog and pony show. Now this phrase originated from a traveling circus that featured dogs and ponies in US. Now the phrase dog and pony show means you are organizing an event to impress people in order to make them convince to buy your product or your service i hope you understood you are doing some display or presentation as part of your promotion you're promoting something you are trying to advertise something so as part of the promotion campaign you are creating a display or an event to increase the publicity so that people can buy your product or service it's an overstaged performance overblown performance to convince people okay for example you can say businessmen usually organize dog and pony show to convince people to buy their product next phrase is more power to your elbow now this phrase is another way of saying all the best good luck somebody is going to do some brave thing or some great activity and you are encouraging them you are praising them you are admiring for what they are going to do so you want to wish them all the best and good luck so this phrase is a substitute more power to your elbow for example when i told my cousin that i am going to start my business she remarked more power to your elbow next phrase is beat someone at their own game imagine that somebody made a vaccine and now you also create a vaccine but copying their strategies copying their methods their tactics their skills that's called as beating someone at their own game using the same methods which others used but you are doing it more successfully you have outdone them you have emerged out successful than them copying their own tactics and skills and strategies surpassing your opponent in their speciality that's called as beat someone at their own game for example you can say hey we can compete with our rival and beat them at their own game next phrase is hope the twig it has got two meanings the first meaning is to depart or to leave to go away second meaning is death for instance you can say the money lender hoped the trick to dubai after cheating so many people which means he left the place now as i said another meaning of this phrase is the act of dying death next phrase is get your ducks in a row now the theory behind the origin of this expression is have you seen ducklings walking how do they walk one after the other behind the mother duck okay in a straight line ducklings walking in a straight line so get your ducks in a row means arrange your task and schedule and getting ready for the next step 
you are getting prepared you are getting organized you are being methodical for something that is going to happen in the future you are arranging yourself for the next step in your life for example we need to get our ducks in a row before we start our business